Umingagwa thanks military for loyalty. President Emerson Umingagwa has thanked the Zimbabwean military for remaining loyal to his rule as he pledged housing and car loan incentives to cushion members from a tough economy blamed on his poor administration by critics. Umingagwa, who doubles as Commander-in-Chief of the Zimbabwe Defence Forces, was speaking Tuesday at Rufalo Stadium in Harare during the Zimbabwe Defence Forces Day commemorations. The annual event is usually marked by a parade by dozens of soldiers decked out in military gear, the exhibition of often dangerous ground and aerial stunts to entertain the crowd as well as awarding of merit medals to individuals associated with the country's defense cause. In a speech full of praise and promises for the defense forces, Unengagwa urged the introduction of robust military systems and defense forces that are continually evolving, noting the world is witnessing an upsurge of terrorism and cross-border crime. Coupled with undue foreign interference in the internal affairs of countries, especially for us in the global South and East. In this regard, he added, there remains a strong need to enhance not only our domestic military systems but cross-border military and security cooperation. Unengagwa, under fire from opponents for rampant rights violations on dissenters, said Zimbabwe under his administration cherishes rights and freedoms realized upon attainment of the country's independence. He cast back to Zimbabwe's bitter liberation struggle from British colonial rule over four decades back and singled out Rufaro Stadium as iconic to the historic event. The choice of Rufaro Stadium invokes sentimental memories. It was at these historic grounds, on the eve of April 18, 1980, when the Union Jack was lowered and the Zimbabwean flag hoisted. That symbolic act marked the birth of an independent and free Zimbabwe. It ushered us into a journey of yet again charting our own course and destiny. It was also in surrounding residential suburbs such as Mbe and Highfields where many of our citizens were brutalized for their resistance and rejection of the racist colonial administration. These neighborhoods incubated and strengthened the resolve of many sons and daughters of Zimbabwe to wage the protracted liberation struggle for democracy, freedom and independence. Today's celebrations on these grounds afford us the opportunity to once again reflect on the arduous journey that our nation has traveled to realize the rights and freedoms we so dearly cherish today. Equally, Umningagwa added, your defense of our national interests as embodied in our national constitution over the years has been exemplary and unflinching. The formidability, reliability, dependability, Professionalism and discipline of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces remain the guarantor of the peace and security necessary for the development, modernization, industrialization and prosperity of our nation. Despite the negative effects of illegal sanctions imposed by some Western countries, the ZDF stands firm. We thank you all officers, men and women for your loyalty and consistent service to Zimbabwe. He added, Meanwhile, an array of strategies are underway to improve the welfare of members of our defense forces. Non-monetary incentives and benefits such as civil service housing loans and the civil service vehicle purchase schemes have been extended to members of the defense forces. He promised to expand the military's transport fleet through procurement of an assortment of vehicles and construction of three. 000 housing units for members of the defense forces. Health-wise, Unengagwa promised to equip all military hospitals and health institutions with requisite modern equipment and adequate medicines. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.